Right, um, so, it's a college football preview. I made this the past few days. I've been working on this. It's been very hard. Um, when needed, I probably will quote or something because some of this stuff I did do based off a some sites I saw. Obviously, I didn't just do this on my own because I don't have this field of information that like Curb Street will have or some ESPN guys will have or just any college football analyst could have the professional one. Um, I can't. Also, I'm in school. I can't go down watching practices every day, sadly. But so, um, I think Alabama. So we're gonna talk about title, college football playoff first, and uh, I think Alabama will be the one seed in this. Um, then I think Clemson will be the two seed. Um, with Stanford being the three seed, I think that will be a, a good matchup between. Um, I've talked about all these matchups at a later date. On I me mean, not later date, an earlier video to call title contenders. So. We, if you want anything, you can look at that for more information. Michigan, I think, will be the fourth team. Obviously, a good Twitter battle there. Um, now, looking at, I think, Alabama and Stanford meet in the title game, and Alabama will win that. Um, so what well, huh. We ain't going, but... Wait, sorry about that. That was a um, message from my brother that contained very good news. About something like Hogan just did. I think according to my brother, he just signed something saying we don't have to go to school until like Labor Day, which is awesome. Um, they're talking over there about food, I guess now. But back to where we were, conference title games. So um, um, the ACC, African Athletic Conference. I now can speak English. Guys, I think it's going to be Houston Temple with Houston winning it again behind Greg Ward Jr. Ward, Ward, Ward J. Screw it. We're just going to go on like nothing happened. The American, I mean Atlantic Coastal Conference. Wait. Yes, that's how, what it is, I think. We'll have Clemson and North Carolina again. Um, But this could easily change depending on who wins the Clemson-Florida State game. I really think that will decide that division. I, don't, I forget what division it is. And frankly, I don't care. Um... The Big Ten, 12, is just, Oklahoma's just going to win it, I think, personally. Um, there's no title game there. I think it will come down to certain matchups, including Oklahoma and uh, TCU, I personally think. Oklahoma, I mean, Oklahoma and Texas may be another one it comes down to, but I don't see Texas just rebuild coming that fast. Big Ten, Michigan and Iowa. Iowa making it for a second straight year. Really, that uh, the other division, the Big Ten, Ten, the one that doesn't have Ohio State, I think is and Michigan State and Michigan. It's now really slacking. It's slowing. It's slowing down. Wait, the West Division I think is now becoming weaker. Personally, as you can see, I mean, think no offense to it, like Wisconsin used to dominate and now it's been placed. Wisconsin's down, Nebraska's down, all those teams are down, so it's not going as well for them. Even though you don't care, Conference USA guys, Western Kentucky, Southern Miss, Western Kentucky. I know you guys don't care. I don't care, but I just did this for fun. Middle uh, American, I think. Uh, Northern Illinois and versus Bowling Green with Northern Illinois winning it. I don't know why. I keep doing this with my pen. Uh, Mountain West, San Diego State, Boise State. I think Boise State is going to recline, back, get back into the national spotlight, talk again, get to talk, probably maybe do a little... Thumb and Houston will be fighting for that group of five spot that historically lately has been Boise State, actually. They've been, they get it a lot, usually. They're usually they've usually usually been a group of five powerhouse, actually. But, um, Pac-12, um, Southern Cal, I think, versus Stanford. I, don't, I think Southern Cal will have at least one loss going game because I think they will lose to Alabama in the first game. Same. Uh, pretty much tomorrow I'll be posting the week one preview. Um, SEC, Alabama versus Tennessee, Alabama. I think Alabama will, Tennessee will finally beat Florida. Finally get past Georgia. Probably run the table after that. Just think about if I think you can get past Florida. Uh, well, never mind. They will win the East, but I don't think they'll be able, they won't be able to beat Alabama 
once before they get there. Obviously, I don't think they will. Also, um, just don't see Tennessee being able to beat them. Uh, I forget who they play. The other team from the West they play this year, but uh, I don't see them going undefeated into the SEC game. I see them, they could be going undefeated versus Alabama, and that would be pretty much one of the highest ratings ranked uh, third weekend in October games in a while. Um, Southern Belt, Georgia Southern. I watched them play once. I think that was the team I watched. Versus Appalachian State. And I think Appalachian State will win. And I'm back. I had to deal with some stuff. But, um, so yeah, uh, that's where we're at. Bold predictions, I'm going to go over some of them. <laughs> JK, we're going over all of them. New Mexico Bowl. Middle Tennessee versus Utah State. Las Vegas Bowl. Boise State versus Washington State. Uh, I don't think they were going to get it, actually. Never thought <laughs> Boise State would be bank top 25, but not be able to get it. Camellia Bowl. Akron versus South, Al South Alabama. New Orleans Bowl. Louisiana Tech. Georgia Southern. Miami Beach Bowl. Who doesn't want to go to that one? Eastern Carolina. East Carolina versus Bowling Green. East Carolina has been officially taken out of Big 12 consideration. Berkeley Town, Tulsa versus Southern Miss. Poinsettia Bowl, BYU versus San Diego State. Potato Bowl, Western Kentucky versus Nevada. Bahamas Bowl. And I'm down if, if I have a coach team and we got the Bahamas Bowl. I'm down here. Uh, Cincinnati versus Toledo. Um, Forces Bowl, Navy versus West Virginia. I, I have personal opinion on the fact that Navy is tied to the um, Armed Forces Bowl. I think really it hurts Navy. I get why, but I think it hurts Navy. Actually, more than it helps. Because you can't go into a high-tier bowl. I mean, I guess group of only like that, but you can't get a New Year's, six, New Year's Day, New Year's Eve bowl. You can't get an early bowl, you know, a late bowl, a good bowl for you guys. Because you have that agreement. I think it hurts them more than it helps. Uh, Dollar General Bowl used to be the Go Daddy Bowl, I think, if I'm correct. Central Michigan versus Georgia State. Hawaii Bowl. Um, again, if my team had to go there, I'm down. Marshall Bowl versus Air Force. Marshall versus Air Force. St. Peter's Bowl. Berg Bowl. Again, another bowl I'm probably down for because I think it's from Florida. Minnesota versus... Oh, wait. South Florida versus Syracuse. Um, Quick Lane Bowl is Minnesota versus Northern Illinois. Independence Bowl, um, NC State versus South Carolina. Okay, what did I just do with my pen? Just messed up my pen. Eee! Heard of Dallas Bowl, Kansas State versus Western Kentucky. Military Bowl, Virginia Tech versus Temple. Uh, I would make a really funny comment involving uh, Colin Kaepernick, but I don't feel like I should. Holiday Bowl, Washington versus Northwestern. Cactus Bowl. Texas Tech versus Arizona State. Pinstripe Bowl is Duke versus Nebraska. Texas Bowl, Ole Miss versus Oklahoma State. Birmingham Bowl, I think this was last year's matchup, or they played at least last year. Bowl, Mississippi, Memphis versus Auburn. Belt Bowl, Louisville versus Mississippi State. Again, I think Mississippi State was in the Belt Bowl last year. Alamo Bowl. Oregon versus Baylor. I think Oregon was in there last year playing at TCU. Um, Secure Bowl. I think that has a very good message behind that bowl. I think it helps with like curing a disease, some diseases, I think. Correct. Um, Connecticut versus Appalachian State. Athletic Bowl. Notre Dame versus TCU. Uh, Arizona Bowl. New Mexico versus Arkansas State. Liberty Bowl. Texas versus Georgia. <clears throat> Sun Bowl, Pittsburgh versus Utah. Music City is uh, Wisconsin versus Florida. Orange, I have UNC versus Ohio State. Uh, Peach and Fiesta are the two semifinals. I don't know how they're going to rank those. One, four, two, two, three. I don't know what one goes where. So Peach and Fiesta will include Alabama, Clemson, Michigan, and Stanford. 
uh, Alabama, Michigan, Stanford, Clemson, and one or the other. Um, Tax Slayer, Miami versus Texas, A&M, Citrus Bowl, Tennessee versus Michigan State, Outback Bowl, Penn State versus Arkansas, Cardin Bowl, Houston versus Florida State, another rematch. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. I would actually like to see it. Um, Rose Bowl, Iowa versus USC. Um, Sugar Bowl is Oklahoma, the uh, Big 12 champion versus LSU, I think, which will be the second highest ranked SEC team. College title game, I said Alabama, Stanford. Foster, Fern Bowl, uh, Indiana versus UCLA. Now, going through that, you guys see how many balls are. It was two pages, two and a uh, page and a half. There's no reason to have that many balls, I think. It just takes away from it. Really, I think it takes away from them. Because you have 35, 30, 40 balls. And really, balls used to be like eight, and they were for like the best of the best. I could turn on a, my TV to ESPN on December 19th. Find two group of five teams that are average, marginal group of five teams at best on. I mean, I could do that on ESPN3, but like still. Um, All American list QB, Deshaun Watson, Clemson. My running backs will be Leonard Fournette from LSU and Christian McCaffrey from Stanford. Receivers are Juju Smith Schuster, USC, and Calvin Ridley, Alabama. My tight end, Jake Butt, Michigan. My two tackles will be Karen Robinson and Alabama, from Alabama. And uh, Roderick Johnson from Florida State. Third will be Dan Freeney from Indiana. And the other one will be Quentin Nelson from Notre Dame. And Pat Elfin from Ohio State will be the center. Uh, um, now, some people may not like the fact that, like, obviously you have to think about it. Like, there's some teams that are going to have a lot more than others. Some teams will put some more on there. Like, Alabama has some on defense. But in my opinion, that should be obviously warranted. warranted. Like, that should be something you expect. Expect. Can't speak, guys. I'm sorry. I can't speak sometimes. Like, I can't pronounce words sometimes. But we all have those moments. Um, So, like, Alabama's known for defense. So, it would be weird if they didn't have, like, place one or two on. It's a few season. This is what I think. Uh, Jonathan Allen, Alabama. And, uh. Miles Garrett from Texas A&M and Malik McDowell from Michigan State will be the defensive linemen. This is based off a three-four, a three-four four set, three line, three lines, four linebackers and four second day. Um, linebackers: Ruben Foster, Alabama; Devontae Fields, Louisville; Val McLean, Ohio State, and. Another last linebacker, but really, I would say, pass rush specialist, Tim Williams, Alabama. If you didn't see it, just look up how Tim Williams almost destroyed the A game. Uh, Desmond King, Iowa. Jalen Tease, Tabor, Florida. Derwin James, Florida State. But uh, Baker, I don't know what school he's from. I forgot to write that. Uh, those, those will be the defensive back. Award prediction, I got a few of them for you. Um, let me just... I meant to change this one earlier, but uh, the Heisman, I think, will be Deshaun Watson, Clemson. Um, Runners-up will be Christian McCaffrey. I think what hurts him is where he plays. I think if he Stanford had more 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock slots Eastern time, they would maybe get it. But I don't think they're going to win the Eastern. He's not going to win that because he plays at 10 sometimes. And no one's going to stay up to watch 10 o'clock kickoff. And that game ends at 1. I see why uh, the Pac-12 will do that to the best game of the week because it puts that prime time right there for them, seven a 7-10 seven to 10 game. That makes sense for them. The coach of the year, Kirby Smart, I think, he'll prove himself that he is not just the right-hand man of Nick Saban. At this point, uh, Bruno... The Nagurski Award, which I forget what one that is for. Show sure vote this down more. Tim Williams, Alabama. I think it's the best defensive player or the best linebacker. I don't remember. Fred Billen, 
Nigoff, Nigoff uh, Award, Juju Smith, Smith Schuster, USC. Davey O'Brien Award will go to Deshaun Watson of Clemson. Mac, the Maxwell Award, no, this is not the award I give out. In case you were wondering, I don't give out an award. In case we were wondering, it's also a Maxwell Coach of the Year, but I do not give them out, okay? In case we were wondering, I just want to clarify that, guys. Um, that goes to Christian McCaffrey. I think he will be the best player in the nation, but he just won't win it with the Heisman. One of these sleepers I can already cross off because he will never start this season. Because Saban may be an idiot, I think. A lot of us Bama fans actually disagree with the starting goal. But uh, Deshaun Hand, defensive end, Alabama. Alabama will be... The, Alabama now lists three on here. I think that's because Alabama will have... They need to reset the off. I mean, a lot of players left, and they're just re-putting players who were like marginal roles last year. We're now in a higher up role, a starting position. Deshaun Hand, first off, the defensive end to Alabama. He'll be lining up with Jonathan Allen on that line. The linebacking corps will be awesome, I think. Right there, it's. I actually saw multiple names for Alabama players on defense, on for the defense of all Americans. Um, Minka Fitzpatrick, he was good last year. I think he'll be even better this year, proving why he should, he deserved that. He shores up the second day. Last year, that same day was a concern. Now it's pretty solid, I think. And it will be solid for the next few years, knowing it was a young second day with a lot of freshmen and sophomores actually in it. So, um, it was a pretty good for a freshman sophomore group. Burris Burrow, running back Alabama. He's he has the biggest shoes to fill off anyone in the nation. Heisman winner. He got a place. He got be. He's gonna be that guy. Brandon Harris, QBLC. He's a known guy, but I think this year will be his year. He'll actually prove that he can step up and be a leader and be a QB, a good QB. Um, Jake. Brown and QB Washington. Gordia Tanks Tank Ursley, defensive back Clemson. He will be replacing Maxwell Alexander, something like that. Is dinner? Oh, okay. Uh, had dinner, sorry about that. Um, Mike Weber, running back of Ohio State, is another sleeper we're going to have. Preston Williams, Viber Shoot. Wide receiver, Tennessee, and Keller Christ, QB Stanford. He's pretty much going to have the easiest job in the nation. Christian McCaffrey, that's all that. Going back to this again. Um, my spring top 25, that's changed a bit. I've moved some teams up, some teams out. So we're not going to do this because I realize my predictions now are different than this. So that's kind of off this one. Um, probably... Post something tomorrow about. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have pretty much. I'll post one tomorrow for week one preview.